Hi everybody and welcome back to Brelsford Family Homestead. I'm Darcy. Today I'm going to be making cranberry juice and canning it. I usually wait until cranberries go on sale after Thanksgiving or Christmas. I have gotten them for 10 cents a bag or even 25 cents a bag, which is a great deal. <laughs> and then I put them in the freezer and they stay there until I'm ready to can. I have a lot of cranberry juice on hand and it's still in my pantry now, but um, a friend gave me some. Her and I might have gone a little overboard with buying cranberries last time. <laughs> so anyway, I got some of hers and my mom. I found my mom really likes cranberry juice, so I am going to be making these for her. So I'm gonna gather my supplies. We're gonna be using a steam juicer, cranberries and uh, sugar. I have never made it without sugar. If you want to drink cranberry juice for like health benefits where sugar is definitely not something you need, then, then leave that out. But with this juicer, you're supposed to put the sugar in with the cranberries while you juice it so it's already in when it's all completed. So I'm gonna gather up my supplies and be right back. This is the steam juicer I will be using. I will leave a, a link in the description to this in Amazon. I've never seen it in uh, a store except for something like Lehman. So if you have one of those near you, you may be able to pick it up in person. But this is a steam juicer. So we'll put the cranberries in here. This is the sieve and the, the water will go down here. So I'll show you here. Take the lid off. Yes, I live on a really busy street. Sorry for the semis just barreling by. This is where her um, the juice will go down, come out of here. And I put a, um, a stool with a pot, I'll show you when I'm done, to catch the juice. And then we are going to fill this with water. You definitely do not want to run out. I never have, as long as it's full. Um, obviously, if I do a second batch, I refill it. So I'm going to get this filled with water, and then I'll show you as I load the cranberries in. So apparently I was not recording all of that time where I thought I was, so sorry about that. So I have filled the bottom with water, then placed this on there, and then this is full of cranberries. So far I have eight pounds in here. I am going to see if I can fit at least another pound in here, but I did layer it with sugar. Um, per the instructions for doing this. I use a half a cup of sugar per pound of cranberries. Um, that is plenty sweet enough even for cranberry juice for me, but of course you can use more or less if you want. I think the the instructions had said to start at a certain amount and you, you could adjust. So this was uh, what I thought was best. I don't want to consume too much sugar so this makes it sweet enough that it's not you know puckering your face <laughs> when you drink it so let me grab some more cranberries okay i got another two pounds i'm going to try to put in here and So that was 10 pounds total of cranberries. I put the lid on and I will switch you around so you can see uh, how it works and how I have it set up in the front to catch the juice. All right guys, I have my setup all here. I have a stool down here with a pot with this sticking in it to, to catch the juice as it starts coming out. This will take some time. Um, if I remember from the last time, maybe like an hour and a half or two hours to make sure you get all of the juice out, but I'll bring you back so you can see the juice running out. It's really hot, so don't be tempted to stick your finger in there. Don't know how I would know that. <laughs> Gonna show you the progress here. You can see how the Berries have gone down, and I have a good amount of juice already. I'm going to go ahead and start canning uh, the cranberry juice. I've got another batch of 10 pounds of berries going in the juicer right now. 
a lot of times I just wait and do it all at once because I have multiple canners. But this juice can be hot bath canned. You don't need a pressure canner for it. I am using my pressure canner, but uh, without the seal in it, just because it's taller. And sometimes I find with, I use those black enamel water bath canners with quart jars, it just boils over water everywhere. So this is just easier for me. So I have uh, seven quart jars, which is what my canner will hold, that are hot. I've got washed lids and rings, a funnel, and a ladle, a jar lifter, this handy dandy tool that helps you to get out air bubbles with things that need that done. This juice will not, but it has this little thing to measure the head space, these will need one quarter inch head space, same if I was doing pints, and they will be hot bath canned for 15 minutes, quarts or pints. All right, let's see, I'm gonna get the juice off of the stove. It's warm, and I've already got the uh, canner water boiling. Okay. One reason why you want to have your jars hot is because you're gonna be putting hot liquid into it and you're going to be putting it into boiling water in the canner. So if you do not, if you have cold jars, you may get lucky, <laughs> but uh, more often than not, it's going to bust on you. So I have checked my, my jars for any cracks or chips on the lids and they are all good. this into the jar. Now I, I may not use all seven of these jars. Um, I didn't measure how much juice I had. So if I don't have enough, I will combine this with the juice that I'm making now, heat it up and can it. Some more. I keep a tablespoon as well with my as I'm doing things because it helps me to add just a little bit of liquid into a jar or remove it if my headspace is not correct. This also has some foam. I'm going to one of the recipes I've seen say you need to remove it, but I'm just I'm going to anyway. Almost there. Quarter head inch head space is not very much. All right, that's good right there. Then you need uh, some type of clean towel. I've got a paper towel with a little vinegar. We'll wipe the rim to make sure there's no juice on there. Center a lid. Then put that on, fingertip tight. Then I'm going to go place this inside my canner and go to the next one. people will uh, fill all their jars and then place them in the canners. It's apparently called staging and it is not considered to be a safe practice. That's why the recipes like in the Ball Complete Handbook of Canning and Home Preserving say to do a jar, put it in the canner and then move on. I can't explain all the science behind that but that's what they say so rather safe than sorry. It doesn't really take me any longer to put them in a canner after each one than to do them all and then go.
at that color. Isn't that beautiful? It's a little tighter in the oven area than it is normally because I've got that juicer going with a stool in front of it. The oven, it takes up a little extra space. Now this is really um, strong. This would definitely be more of a concentrate. I don't, I don't drink it straight without adding something to it. You certainly could, but it's a little too intense <laughs> for me straight. If you're wondering, I had hot water in my jars because I did not want them to cool off because I'm filming. I wasn't sure if maybe there'd be some extra time. So often what I do when I'm canning a lot of things is I have a 22 quart roaster and I will put the jars in that um, with water, obviously, and that keeps them hot for as long as I need. The rest of this juice I'm going to do in pints because that's what my mom likes to have it in and she's going to be getting these. Maybe, maybe not these ones, she might not want these quarts, but it looks like I'm only going to have uh, four quarts anyway, so my family can make use of those. I'm going to put this in the canner. I'm going to turn the heat up on my canner and make sure it's at a rolling boil and then set a timer for 15 minutes. All right, my uh, timer has gone off, so I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to remove the lid. And then I'm going to let this sit like this for five minutes and then we'll take them out. All right, it's been five minutes. And also I did get some more jars in here because after uh, I put those in, I checked this and there was enough for me to go ahead and pull out some juice to do a few more jars. So I'm just gonna move these out carefully. So pretty. Right now I have six quarts. All the rest that I can, I am going to do in pints. I need to find out how many more bags of cranberries I have in the freezer. All right. I'm going to leave these jars here undisturbed for 12 to 24 hours. Then I will take off the rings, uh, check to make sure they're sealed, wipe them down, label them, and put them away. Anyway, I'm looking forward to filling my pantry with more of this and my mom's pantry. Uh, maybe this holiday season when you see cranberries go on sale, or if you just see them, 
you could buy some and give juicing a try. There's some other recipes you could give a try to with the juice or even just the cranberries. Let me know what your favorite cranberry recipe is. Anyway, thanks for watching and until next time, God bless. Thank you.